Well, from powwows to ceremonies, the drum plays a key role in Native American customs. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath shows us the technique and process of making a traditional Native American drum. Drums. In the Native American culture, they are as much a tradition as the songs themselves. And making these instruments is just as much a tradition as playing them. At a Red Lake Art Festival, Joe Montano demonstrates the process of making a hand drum. These are just for fun, just use them at balls. Yeah, you're not right up front here. A technique learned from his dad. And my dad would buy me buy me a hide or something, you know, an elk hide, and I'd I'd mess up. Drums are made completely by hand. This is buffalo hide. Starting with stripping the hide. Soaking them in the charcoal, the hardwood ashes for a couple days and that gets off the, the hair. Then after forming the hide, Montano uses the same material to string it together. It's starting to look like a mess, but once we start making the handles, it'll, it'll come together. Making sure the string stays wet. Once the drum is strung together, Montano goes back and tightens every strand. Start making it look better. The last part is the handle, which is made by wrapping the remaining material in sections around the center. Four here and four there. So now that the drum is complete, it's still not quite ready because it's still wet, so it has to sit out and dry. But you can't put it outside, otherwise it might dry too quickly and then rip so it will sit inside for a few days. So when, you, when it dries, that's where you get the, uh, the sound from when it, when it comes to life. Unlike the larger drums played in this powwow demonstration, hand drums are never used in a ceremony. But whether a fun drum or a ceremonial drum, each one is custom made. You gotta try and think, uh, you know, good thoughts. And every person designs to the beat of a different drum. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. Mantano will be demonstrating hand drum making again at the Honoring Our Ancestors Art Festival on Saturday in Red Lake. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.